Today, destinations that reflect Oklahoma's rich American Indian heritage, from a tour of the Cherokee Nation to the Seminole and Comanche Museums. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi, and welcome to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dean O'Malley. We're coming to you from the very picturesque Romano State Park and Resort just north of Watonga. And we're actually specifically on the eighth hole of the golf course. Here. It is a gorgeous view from this course. Yeah. So you got to come check it out if you're a golfer. And if you're not, bring lots of golf balls with you because you'll need them. <laughs> That's right. This uh, park was named after Cheyenne Chief Henry Roman Nose. It was built way back in 1937. It's one of our state's original seven state parks. Now, the lodge recently underwent some renovations, and I tell you, it's very, very nice. How about a grand tour? I like that. And who better to give it to us than the newest member of our Discover Oklahoma team, Quintran. Tucked away just north of Watonga is this place of natural beauty. Roman Nose State Park is known for its deep canyons, gypsum rock cliffs, natural springs, and its long history. Roman Nose is one of Oklahoma's original seven state parks built in 1937. Later additions came along uh, in the 50s with the addition of a golf course and a lodge. The golf course was expanded in the 80s. Um, lodge renovated just a few years ago. Uh, but the canyon itself has a rich history, originally a camp for the Cheyenne, also the original allotment for Henry Romano's. As park manager, Travis Lindley knows where to find the best views and quiet hideouts. That's one of the beauties of the park is almost any park you go to is if you can find the little nooks and crannies and spots you can kind of make your own and little, little places to just tuck yourself away and enjoy nature, read a book or hang out. And the size of the park seems big just because of the actual physical geography of the park. Plenty of canyons, uh, two small lakes, three natural springs, a lot to go out and roam around and an easy place to get lost, even at 635 acres. We've got about oh, roughly nine miles of trail system through the park. It's, it's a great backdrop. The park matches my personality. I'm sort of a naturalist at heart, you know. It matches me. I, I want to be out there somewhere just, just hanging out and I, I like to help people go out and enjoy the natural beauty of the park and uh, educate them about um, what's important here. What's important to know, Roma No State Park offers recreational opportunities for everyone from equestrians and hikers to golfers. This is Oklahoma's only canyon style golf course, a scenic yet challenging experience. The 13th hole can be unlucky for some. Golfers from all over the state are attracted to this unique course. We've got uh, the stay and play package, which includes a room and golf. Um, some of them include meals, depending on how far you want to go, anywhere from 65 to about $100. That includes a room at the lodge, uh, 36 holes to unlimited holes of golf, depending on which package you choose. It's the outdoor setting. It's the chance to go out. And like I said, even at only 635 acres, you feel like you're a long ways from uh, civilization, your car, it's that escape, it's a good chance to get out and enjoy nature in a pretty pristine city. Uh, this is our uh, patio here and it's a very popular place. Uh, you know, people will come out in the spring, fall and summer and have a nice craft beer and enjoy the views. This relaxing view is from the park's lodge patio that was recently renovated along with the accommodations. The existing part of it they tore down and so we have 22 lodge rooms, 10 cabins, uh, two suites, and uh, we also have a pool and a patio for dining out here. We've worked real hard on our menu, and uh, when we first started, people kind of thought we were just a cafe that had hot dogs and nachos, and we're much, much more than that. So um, our banquet menu will include all the way from, you know, salmon to uh, filet mignon, and so it kind of, you know, that's, I think that's what makes us really unique. Eric Wood, the lodge manager, says the Romano's Lodge restaurant has become a dining destination and a gathering place for musical entertainment. We've got a live acoustic music every second Saturday of the month here. Northwest Oklahoma doesn't have a huge music scene, so we thought we'd offer the guests something different for them to come out here. And uh, not only do they get to see the park, but then in the evening they can come, have nice dinner, and listen to some live music. The big thing is we're only about an hour away from Oklahoma City, and uh, I think that's what makes it a real premier destination. So if they want to stay somewhere real unique and get to see one of Oklahoma's 
Games, uh, Original 7, it's a great place to come to. To plan your next trip to Robin Nose State Park and to make reservations at the Lodge, all you have to do is come to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Our state has so many American Indian cultural gems. We're going to share a few of them with you this week and tell you how you can find out about many, many more. And with that in mind, we're going to travel down to Lawton and visit the Comanche National Museum and Cultural Center. This is a really fascinating place with lots of artwork, photo archives, military items, and more. And when the museum opened in the fall of 2007, I believe, they've been taking visitors through the fascinating history and culture of the Comanche Nation. The Comanche National Museum and Cultural Center not only gives you the history and culture of the Comanche Nation, but the origin of where the Comanche people came from and the impact that they have made not only in the military, but the impact they currently make in the community. It's a great representation of the great Comanche Nation. You'll be able to see about the historical component of the Comanche people and their Shoshone roots. You'll also be able to see the Comanche Code Talkers, which were the first Code Talkers. Um, to exist during World War II, and as well as the boarding school and our unique section, Native American Church. The Code Talkers she spoke of was a group of 17 men who were trained to serve in World War II. They were trained in Comanche County, Cotton County, and a couple of other surrounding counties. And these men um, went off, and they were the first group ever to be trained um, to use during World War II as a code. However, 14 of them are the ones that actually went overseas and served and landed on Utah Beach. Larry Sawpity was the first one that transmitted the first code in Comanche. So there's a lot of unique history there just within the Comanche Code Talkers. There's so much to take in at this museum. For example, you'll find one of the most comprehensive Comanche fine art collections in the world. And there are various exhibits, as well as a Bison Killer Interactive. What I wanted to do in developing that game was I wanted to be true to the culture, so we incorporated the language. Um, and I wanted the young people to see what it was like to be a Comanche hunter and, and had them have the same task of sustaining the, their band. There is so much history to be told, and when you come here, you'll experience part of that history. And while the impact of seeing what is on display here will vary from person to person, it will always remain emotional, important, and educational. And I had another visitor come in from out of state, and his was unique. He knew very little about the Comanche history and culture, but he was an educator. And he commented, and what he liked is that he was able to come in here, read the panels, and have a good grasp on the Comanche people very quickly, you know, with the works in here, and it gave a great representation. The Comanche National Museum has a great website that has a tremendous amount of valuable information. We'll link you to their site when you visit the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Well, don't run off because we are just getting started. Up next, we're going to head to Tahlequah. Next on our agenda is a Cherokee cultural experience when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues right after this. On the road, one never knows what lies ahead. Indubitably, almost every week, one encounters bad form from Sunday drivers. Sheer rudeness begets the occasional fender bender. Precisely why we have insurance from AAA. Hear, hear. A name drivers can trust. Especially good ones. Especially great ones. Sit alone and talk. Watch a hawk. Making crazy circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is red. And we sing. We're only saying no. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. accident rewind button, there's the next best thing, insurance from AAA. 
Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, checking out some of Oklahoma's many Native American cultural experiences. There are so many good ones. There are, and we're going to wind our way to Tahlequah, and it's there that Shel Wagner immersed herself in a culture that actually connected her with the past. Shell found that there are four different cultural tours that have been set up by the Cherokee Nation, and as she took those tours, she discovered that Cherokee tradition is deeply rooted in our everyday lives. Have you ever given thought to the concept that, in Oklahoma, you can travel internationally without ever having to leave the state? Several nations exist within our state borders and all offer a glimpse of a distinct people and culture. I recently traveled to the Cherokee Nation in Tahlequah and came away as enriched and enlightened as I have on any trip to Europe or Asia. The Cherokee Nation has organized four new cultural tours, each one revealing a different aspect of the Cherokee experience. I chose the Cherokee Historical Tour, which stops at a whole roster of locations, one of which is Capitol Square, where it first dawned on me, and granted I'm a bit slow, that the Cherokee Nation was an actual nation, a whole other country. Education and government were two of the most important things to the Cherokee, and I think a lot of people have the misconception and don't realize just how important those two issues were to us. The Cherokee built the first two institutions of higher education in what would become Oklahoma. Their female seminary in Tahlequah became the site of Northeastern State University. The building still survives and thrives as a beacon of learning and boasts the only Cherokee language major in the U.S. The Cherokee Heritage Center is another stop on the tour and will deepen your understanding of the Cherokee experience through crafts and art and a powerful Trail of Tears exhibit. Outside the Heritage Center, the Chalagi Ancient Village showcases the way a traditional Cherokee community would have looked prior to European contact. Then, a few miles away in Park Hill, get a sense of how a typical Cherokee family lived in the mid-19th century at the Daniel Log Cabin where you can try your hand at spinning, or grinding, or cooking. By contrast, right next door to the Daniel Cabin is another historic Cherokee residence. The Merle Home is the last antebellum plantation home in Oklahoma, and stands as a reminder of the luxurious lifestyles enjoyed by some in the Cherokee Nation before the Civil War. And of course, no cultural tour would be complete without sampling some customary fare. And lucky for us, Restaurant of the Cherokees answers that call. Pork and cabbage, brown beans, corn, to die for hominy, and cuisine from a more recent Cherokee history, catfish and fry bread. I learned that fry bread began its life as a cobbled together food from U.S. government rations a way to keep from starving when government occupation kept tribal members from pursuing their native foods, elk, buffalo, corn, beans, and squash. Fry bread seems to be symbolic of the Cherokee way, of finding a way to make the best of any situation. And you can immerse yourself in this powerful, personal, inspiring culture without ever having to leave the state. At the Cherokee Nation in Tahlequah, I'm Shel Wagner. There are several Cherokee cultural tours you can select from, and the tours can be booked online. We'll be happy to link you to the website where you can do all the planning and booking from the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. All right, we have lots more coming up. More native Oklahoma to explore. Up next, a tribute to the artists and performers of Red Earth when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just two short minutes. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it and so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month and so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up and when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown-up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. 
Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Enjoying the view here at Roman Nose State Park as we explore some of the many Native American adventures you can have all across our state. Now, obviously, because of time, we can only highlight just a few, but you can go to TravelOK.com and order this free Oklahoma Indian Country Guide. It'll talk about the places we are highlighting in the show and a lot more. For example, the Chickasaw Cultural Center in Sulphur, that's a world-class destination, mm -hmm. as is the next destination we're going to talk about. That's right. The Red Earth Festival is known worldwide for its amazing cultural experience. But just a quick trip down to Oklahoma City and you can capture that Red Earth experience year round at the Red Earth Museum. After many years inside what is now Science Museum Oklahoma, the Red Earth Museum and Gallery is now located in the Santa Fe Plaza just south of the Skirvin Hotel. And with this new location brings new and better opportunities to display and promote Native American art, culture, tradition, and heritage. This is an opportunity for us to move downtown where we have storefront space and we can actually not only showcase our museum but also have a gallery for our artists and we really weren't able to do that um, at the Science Museum and this is just a much better fit. We're downtown, centrally located. When people come out of the Skirvin Hotel they see us, they come in, they can not only visit and see the art but the museum and it's just been a wonderful opportunity for us. And this new location also allows them to continue with their educational programs as well. But once you walk in, you'll find impressive and diverse displays of art, everything from paintings, pottery, books, jewelry, and glasswares that can again reflect and encompass true, rich Native American heritage. And then when you come in, you can also purchase actual art. And so we have a kind of a quarterly uh, change of artists so we're again we're always evolving always changing you see new things and it's all very exciting take for example well you can see some of the work of Jerry Redcorn she's a Caddo Potter whose work has reached some very high places her art is in the Oval Office of President Barack Obama so you can buy Jerry Redcorn's uh, pottery here um, again, we have a multitude of artists that from all different um, of the tribal nations that, that are showcasing their, their work. And while the museum has only been here at this new location since March of 2010, they've already expanded into the space next door. Red Earth originally, you know, was started as a merger of the Center of the American Indian and Red Earth. So it was a, it was a merger of a museum and a festival, which makes us that year-round operation and not just for the festival. Um, and it's just a wonderful tradition to think we've been here 25 years and we've survived and we're still here and now we're thriving with a new location. You can find out more about the Red Earth Museum and plan your next trip there. We'll help you when you go to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. We have more for you on the way. After a short break, we're going to be headed to Wewoka. We'll visit the Seminole Nation Museum when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns right after this. He's been our insurance agent for the last six years, uh, but the year before that, he was the best man at my wedding. Asked him if I could quote his auto insurance, to which he said yes, but you're gonna have to beat the company I've been with for forever in order to get it. I didn't think uh, they'd be able to. So I, I took the opportunity to quote it, and I know I was able to save him about $600 a year. Man, I was just like, boom shakalaka, like, are you kidding me? He actually said that on the phone, boom shakalaka. You know, saving money with AAA means food on the table for my family. Even after he saved us tons of money, He's looked at our policy over the years and, and helped us make changes to save even more money without us asking. We offer the best of both worlds. Um, we have uh, great cu customer satisfaction through the level of service that we provide uh, and combined with an amazingly low rate. You know, as a parent and as a husband, having insurance uh, is a safety net because life happens. I know that AAA is going to take care of us. I don't have to worry about it. AAA is going to be there. Levi is going to be there. They're going to take care of our needs. Circles in the sky. We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is red. And when we say, Yeah! Honey, I know we're only saying you're doing fine. Oklahoma! Oklahoma! Oklahoma, come see for yourself.
Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible and does a lot of other great things around our state. Here's a look at today's AAA. Hi, Christy Gettle here with AAA Oklahoma. Everyone knows AAA roadside service can more than pay for itself with just one service call. But did you know a AAA membership can also save you money on a daily basis? AAA members save 20% at 1-800-Flowers. Buy $50 worth of roses and save 10 bucks. Mention your card to Sprint and save 10% on your wireless bill, even if you're an existing Sprint customer. Car parts? Show your AAA card at any Napa store for an instant 10% off your order. In fact, that's what we call this program, Show Your Card and Save, and it's the largest member discount program in the world. AAA members saved more than $2.1 billion last year alone. It's all about putting your membership card to work for you. Check out the hundreds of partners who offer AAA members special deals. And don't forget about our tremendous insurance premium discounts, special travel offerings and upgrades, and financial products that earn you money. So if you're interested in saving money, visit AAA.com. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. You know, one of the fun aspects of visiting a museum or one of the cultural centers that we've talked about is just learning about that particular tribe and the contributions of its people. For example, our next destination where we will learn about the pivotal role the Seminole Nation has played in the art and culture of central Oklahoma. And right now we're going to head to Rewoka and visit the Seminole Nation Museum. So listen for the sound of the little bird that sings early in the morning, the sound of the wind as it blows through the branches of the trees, and perhaps the sound of someone who's sad because they are crying, okay? Listen up. Lewis Johnson is talking to a group of Wewoka school children about the Seminole Nation. Many of them are of Seminole heritage and the Seminole Nation Museum is one of the places where they can learn about their people, their past, and their present. The museum holds the history of the Seminoles from their days in Florida, down the long trail of tears to Oklahoma, to the brighter days of the present and the contributions of tribal members. That's where we're geared to is that people will come uh, to experience the Seminole culture and leave with a Seminole experience. Whether it's through our history, which we are very uh, strongly uh, about, sharing the story of the Seminole people, but also expressing our works of art and the stories behind those works of art, which is the integral part of our culture also. The art here is especially stunning, filling the museum's galleries with works of Seminole artists, including former state senator and past principal chief of the Seminole Nation, Enoch Kelly Haney, whose sculpture, The Guardian, sits atop the dome of the Oklahoma Capitol. You can also see the works of the well-known Seminole artist, Benjamin Harjo, and others that you may not yet have heard of. The Seminole are also known for their beading and fabric work, craft skills the museum is working hard to preserve. We have one-man shows for artists uh, from time to time, and of course we have quilt shows occasionally, and we have uh, patchwork workshops uh, to teach uh, people how to do the Seminole patchwork. We usually have a Seminole instructor that comes in, uh, either or someone that learned in the workshops in the previous years, and it's a great time for a lot of people to come and experience uh, learning how to do some of the Seminole art and craft work. Whether you come to learn the crafts or the history of the Seminole Nation or just to soak up the colorful artwork, you will glory in the heritage of a proud and accomplished people. The Seminole Nation Museum in Wewoka is open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5. You can learn more on the museum's website. We'll link you to it from the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our very quick look at some of our wonderful American Indian highlights and cultures and museums around our state. You can plan your own trip. Take as long as you want. Just go to mm -hmm. TravelOK.com for all kinds of great ideas. And while you're there, be sure to order your free copy of the Oklahoma Indian Country Guide with lots more suggestions for wonderful destinations to visit. And it's free. Free. I like that it word, is. free. <laughs> we also want to thank the folks at Romano State Park and Lodge for hosting us today. And thanks to you for watching. Next week, we'll hit the Western Trail with all things cowboy, from John Wayne to a Western-themed restaurant that's serving up some tasty cowboy cuisine, to a Western-themed bed and breakfast and a unique horseshoe museum. Hope you'll join us. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.